Welcome back to Down the Stretch, everyone. I'm Mark Asano. Our thanks to Bill Badgett for having joined us, and we hope you enjoyed. I know Leo O'Brien enjoyed looking back at the 1996 Alabama and the victory with Yanks Music. If I'm not mistaken, that was Leo's first win at that year's meet. What a way to break your maiden with the Alabama. Our final two guests this morning, along with her husband, Dr. Linwood O'Kane, she manages and has managed High Cliff Farm in Delansons since she was a kid in 1989. She was honored back in 2003 as one of the pioneering women of the Capital Region. She is Susie O'Kane, and she is joined this morning by the president of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation, Myra Biblowit. Ladies, welcome to the Good show. To see you this morning. Thank you. It's nice Thank to see you. you. Thank add, you. You know, add some charm and class to the program no this question. morning. <laughs> it's Think Pink Day here at Saratoga, and for a discussion on that, here's Michael. Well, Mark and ladies, it's really a honor to have you with us today and for those who come to the track today hope you get a bracelet one of the first 25,000 in and you know we are thinking pink today in honor of this uh, disease and the and all the work that these two have done for it and uh, I, I do want to say that uh, if if you all watching the show think that Susie's going to need some time to warm up you'll understand that once we <laughs> get to your part of the interview <laughs> but let's start with Myra Myra, today there's going to be a race named in honor of this. There's going to be some presentations. So tell us about that and the events today. Well, Naira has been incredibly devoted to the Breast Cancer yeah. Research Foundation. Um, they hosted us in Belmont. They're hosting us here today. Uh, Charles Haywood is presenting us with a, a wonderful contribution of $10,000 yeah. on the track. Uh, Mayor Scott Johnson is giving us a proclamation. And yeah. the undercard to the Alabama race is in honor of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. We're going to see um, pink jackets. We're going to see uh, pink on the horses. Yeah. And it's a wonderful opportunity to spread the message of the importance of and the urgency of funding breast cancer research. I, I quite world. agree. All, all of us in this audience, very few of us haven't been touched by this in some way. There's, there's no question about it. Uh, staying with you, Myra, you're the president of the Breast Cancer Research Foundation. Tell us a little bit about that organization and its history. Um, Evelyn Lauder, um, senior corporate executive at the S.G. Lauder Companies and indeed the person who launched the pink ribbon as this, the worldwide symbol of breast cancer, established the foundation in 1993 because she saw a dearth of funding for research. And at the end of the day, it was clear to Evelyn Lauder that research is where the key to cure lay. So she established the foundation, and I came to run it eight years ago. Yeah. And we do it together. And since inception, we have raised over a quarter of a billion dollars wow. to fight the battle against breast cancer. Wow. Uh, and we, we are, I will tell you, we are funding sure. uh, researchers in the United States, uh, England, France, Belgium, Spain, Australia, Latin America, and the Middle East. Everywhere where there's an opportunity to fund seminal new ideas and move those ideas forward because a lot of lives are at stake. That's, that is very touching. Wow, Myra. Now, to Susie O'Kane. <laughs> Yes. So after I speak to her, I'm just going to leave and you can take care of it. <laughs> but in all seriousness, Susie, I'm real glad to see you this morning. And uh, you have been instrumental in getting the recognition of this at the races. That's a big deal for Susie and your true. Tell our audience about that and feel free to take it away. Well, <laughs> for, I don't even know where to start. But first of all, I have to thank both of you for giving us a venue to get our word out because people watch this show and, and if this is a little different it shows a lighter more sensitive side to our industry it's not just about the horses but it's protecting the women who are involved in our industry and letting them uh, have this ability to come and raise money and uh, before I finish I want Myra to tell you how great their charity is but I started uh, quite accidentally they wanted to have an event at Saratoga in 03, and Libby uh, Pataki had said, you need one, and we got involved, and we decided we were going to have this event, and it was wonderful, and every year when they came, Dr. Norton, her, uh, Evelyn's chief, uh, scientific advisor, scientific, he, de he determines who gets the grant money, and uh, they would come up, and they'd always be on my show, and everybody loved it because they would talk for 45 minutes about the latest and don't do this and 
feel here and don't eat this and <laughs> don't take this hormone and I mean it was wonderful and our audience is going wow we gave the whole uh, Northeast an opportunity to hear the latest and greatest from in my opinion the premier leading research doctor in the world so this was so wonderful and we had our luncheon so this year we thought we would do something because through call me you know all that I named my horse after Dr. Norton and <laughs> I gave my silks are the Evelyn's pink ribbon find a cure and I give 10 percent to them and I'm going to continue on a bigger scale but we decided since we were doing so well with that on-track presence we wanted to move on track and have our event here mm -hmm. and partner with Naira. And Charlie Hayward has been so receptive. Mm -hmm. And a, a little while ago, y'all had the new uh, logo with Naira's logo right, with, with the, the pink, pink ribbon. ribbon around. And, and it, I think the public will, I think we're going to continue to do this. And the public would, will know that when they see that, that what to expect. And I just, I just think it's uh, all good. <clears throat> And I so appreciate being involved with such a, a stellar charity and uh, as they are. Thank they're you. wonderful people. It's not a chore. I love it. It's become my job. <laughs> Did you know that? Absolutely. Oh, okay. And the welcome, the welcome from the Saratoga community has been extraordinary. Financial that. support and enthusiasm Glad to hear has that. been very heartening because we have no endowment. What we give away every year okay. depends on what we raise Got afresh you. every year. And this will be giving upwards of $29 million worth of grants to researchers around the world. Everything from clinical trials to studying the nutrition cancer link, development of vaccines, um, and magnetic resonance imaging, anything where there is opportunity um, to, to either prevent or cure breast cancer. Either one or both can take this question. As the day's proceedings go on, if I were to ask you a couple of things you would like to see happen because of today at the track, what would those things be? Start with Myra. Money. At sure. the end of the day, yeah. Dr. Mary Norton, who is arguably the country's leading breast oncologist, will tell you that truly the only thing that stands between today and cure is money. Because the technology is there, the intellectual capital is there, it is the resources to deploy that quickly on behalf of our mothers, our daughters, our mm -hmm. sisters, mm -hmm. and our friends. There's a lot at stake. Susie, go ahead. I, I feel the same way, but I have to add this. Yeah. My whole life is racing and horses, and I've been doing this forever, and y'all know that. And what I'm the proudest of being a part of this is the fact that we have brought something very special to racing. And I have to commend everybody who's jumped on board, and again, I so appreciate y'all doing this. Uh, to, to, to let us have something else uh, to strive for uh, besides just the obvious things that we have in racing. So I think the marriage between horse racing and Naira and uh, the BCRF Sarah. is just wonderful because it's touched everybody. There isn't anybody that hasn't been touched somehow. So we're all willing to do it, and I think it's all positive. I'm looking for better things even next year. Uh, Susie, I'm going to ask you this question first. Uh, <coughs> you're the reticent partnership here of, of this particular group. Uh, <laughs> yes. like, you know. <laughs> folks watching today, folks at the track today who pick up on what's going on, how do they get involved with you two and the foundation? What do they do? Well, we're going to have uh, a woman who I admire named Mary Copley. She does okay. a lot for Gilda. Okay. And she and her husband are going to be at a booth by the uh, Jockey Silks Room. Yes. And they're they're going to have all kinds of information, and they're going to take donations. And on some of the little uh, the little gambling machines, whatever sure. they're called, there's going to be directions to go to this booth and make a donation. So what we're hoping is that everybody will come and they'll be a part of it. And it's, I tell you, it's going to be great. The saddle cloths are all pink. The little grooms and the little outriders are going to have pink jackets. Right. It kind of gets right. to you a little right. bit, you know. Right. And may I also say yes. www.bcrfcure. Dot org. Okay. www.bcrfcure.org if someone wants to contribute and we give away 92 cents on the dollar. Imagine. Eight, uh, eight, eight cents, cents eight percent overhead. Tiny. Yeah. Tiny. 
the two fun. have made this morning so enjoyable. It happens to me, well, Mark has to hear this, it happens to be my favorite day of racing, if you didn't know. I'm an Alabama man. I am honored to be here. <laughs> and so honored. And you've, just, you've just loaded it up with all these women and, and this, the, the plight that we're all facing and dread and fear. And uh, I think it was the perfect day to do it. Yeah. I really do. You know what? I want one day, I expect horses are maybe going to, With we have some plans moving forward. I think horses might find a cure for breast cancer right. through purse money. Neat. I think that's what I'm going to do yeah. from now on. Neat. I'm just sorry we couldn't give you the entire 50 finish because <laughs> you wouldn't have had any problem with that. No. <laughs> don't, yeah. call, don't call Monday morning. Susie <laughs> <laughs> and I are a good team. It's been a joy, a joy to work with her. A yes, joy. I feel honor. the same way. This is all good karma, wonderful. Yes, Myra, how much money does it take on an annual basis to fund breast cancer research? Well, as I said, we will be giving away 29 million this year. If we had 50 million, we could find researchers to deploy that money because there is a dearth of federal support and the money has to come from the private sector and we are virtually the ones out there doing that. Have researchers made strides in finding a cure for breast cancer? Enormous strides. A woman diagnosed today has every chance of living her life out with either a manageable chronic disease or indeed cure. And there are many new pieces of information that can lead oh, to prevention in terms of lifestyle, in terms of fat intake in the diet, in terms of increasing your vitamin D level because there's evidence that low levels of vitamin D uh, have show an increased risk of breast cancer. There are new therapies, Herceptin, Avastin, other things that for particular kinds of breast cancer show tremendous amelioration in recurrence and risk. So, so the opportunities are really um, advancing at a very rapid clip for cure and prevention. Great. So for the folks who are going to be here at Saratoga this afternoon, mm -hmm. stop at the booth near yep. the jocks room. For those who aren't going to be here and who would like to make a contribution, possibly in honor of a loved one, exactly. family member, friend, how do they do that? At the booth, they can fill out forms. But if they're not here and they need to mail something. They can go on, onto the, the website, www.bcrfcure.org, or 1-866-FIND-A-CURE for the telephone number. And we will be glad to take their contributions and send letters to, their, to families acknowledging that contributions have been made in someone's honor. Um, many, many, many people support us in that way. There's no better way to pay tribute to a mother, a daughter, a sister, or a friend than in a contribution to BCRF. Ladies, it was great to have you today. All the best with this very worthwhile endeavor. Hope you have a great afternoon. Uh, sit here for just a moment. We'll close the show with you yeah. on set. Just a couple of things to do. Um, you know, we've initiated something new here at Down the Stretch. It's the photo of the week or the photo of the month um, contest. I have nothing to do with choosing. We have a large group of judges to choose. Let's take a look at the photo that won. You, our you. Okay. This, this is, is very nasty. This is from Frank <laughs> Panucci. But, and Frank, Frank, Frank. Frank you're dead. I'll, I'll take a look at it. Go ahead. There's, Go there's ahead. Michael <laughs> saving money on gas. In case we have another so cigar bet, <laughs> so he can contribute. He he rides his bike, and Frank Panu, great job! Congratulations on the photo of the month of Mike Veach on his bicycle. <laughs> Finally, a quick look at the upcoming stakes here at Saratoga, beginning of course with this afternoon's Alabama, and then we've got a lot of New York bred action with the Yado tomorrow, the Union Avenue, the Albany, the Turf Riders Cup on Thursday, next Friday the Bernard Baruch. And then a huge day of racing next Saturday with the Travers, the King's Bishop, the Ballerina, the Victory Ride, and the Boston Spa on the proper surface. So all of that coming up here over the next week at Saratoga. Time to thank the folks who helped get this week's show on the air back in the control room. In Schenectady, Pat Peretta directed, Dan Hayes, Kurt Flick here at Saratoga, Pete Persico and Jim Barber, our associate producer, Julie Hoxie. And special thanks to this morning's guests, Linda Rice, Scott Fairley, Bill Badgett, and the ladies, Myra Biblowit and Susie O'Kane. As always, ladies and gentlemen, thank you. 
so very much for having joined us this morning on Down the Stretch. As we leave you, you're going to see a little piece of a runaway victory this past week by DeFunny Bone in the Saratoga Special. So have a wonderful weekend. And this morning's show, by the way, was brought to you by Parting Glass Racing in Whitehall Stable. Have a great weekend and a terrific upcoming week. And from all of us here at Down the Stretch, we'll see you next week.